In all seriousness, we are at a turning point, a huge turning point when it comes to freedom of speech in the United States of America. I, for one, I refuse to sit back and let conservatives be silenced by these liberal fascists. It's time to take a stand. Now, radical snowflake liberals at UC Berkeley have succeeded, at least for now, in shutting down another conservative speaker. In this case, Ann Coulter, she was supposed to give a speech on that campus tomorrow. That sounds simple, harmless, right? Free speech America, the home of free speech Berkeley. Not to these left-wing, anti-free speech fascists. Now, the alt-radical left, they love to claim they're so tolerant and inclusive. That is just a big myth and lie, maybe the biggest in America right now. In fact, the First Amendment, freedom of speech, means nothing to these people. It's just a, a text and a document they care nothing about. Their goal is simple, shut down every single conservative voice in America by any means necessary. It's that serious. Now, this is just one example. And what we have been showing you this week, liberal fascists are carrying out a well-orchestrated, funded smear campaign to try and take down President Trump and anybody and everybody that supports him and his policies. And as I have explained, I've also become the target of these slanderous attacks. And in my opinion, what happened last Friday, this was designed to be a kill shot. In other words, to ruin my career, shut me down once and for all. Literally, I think they had the crosshairs at my head and my heart. They wanted to destroy me, ruin my career, get me off the air once and for all. It's very, very important for you, the American people, to understand what is really going on here. And it's so much bigger than me or any one person. I want to use my example, though, to expose what's really happening. Now, on Friday, just two days after Bill O'Reilly parted ways with the Fox News Channel, an individual with serious and glaring credibility issues fabricated, completely untrue, ridiculous claims about me, I think going back to like 2003, 4, or 5, which this person quickly recanted. Now, instead of doing their job and fact-checking the accusations by this individual, by the way, easily proven to be false, liberal fascist journalists, lazy as they are, they saw an opportunity. Oh, let's get Hannity next. Let's silence his voice. Now, these are just two of the headlines of the many that were used to try and take me down. NBC News, Sean Hannity denies right-wing bloggers sex harassment claim. By the way, none of them, I think, mentioned it was way back in the early 2000s. Raw story, is Hannity next to fall? Fox guest says the anchor tried to pressure her into hotel room sex. By the way, she didn't even say that, just as a sidebar issue. Now, do these headlines represent the truth? No. And so far, none of these outlets, interestingly, have updated their headlines to correct the story and tell their viewers or their readers the truth. That this is a highly questionable individual who recanted these completely false claims. Now, I have hired a killer team of lawyers and investigators, and we are laying out a war strategy that's going to hold every media outlet that lies and smears me responsible. My lawyers are saying that these media outlets have a basic, fundamental obligation to do rudimentary fact-checking instead of just taking the word of one individual. In my case, they went for the cheap headline without even doing a simple, even a simple Google search, which would have shown that this has gone on with this woman, false charges for years that were proven false. Here's a question. Is this reckless disregard for the truth? Do these media outlets, do they have a responsibility to do any fact-checking before they repeat such hurtful allegations? Now, in the end, I may end up suing some of these outlets because at this point, enough is enough. These attempts to destroy and silence conservative voices, it needs to stop or Fox News Channel goes away. Your favorite talk show hosts go away. You know, they want to get rid of the Fox News Channel, the one network in the country that actually gives President Trump a fair shake. They want to destroy everybody in talk radio. And I feel at this point, if I don't speak up, if we don't fight back, it will only get worse and worse, and others will fall victim to the same liberal media fascists. I've told you since 2007 and 8, journalism in America is dead. It's been that way for a long time. So it's stop pretending. It's time to stop pretending because the facts show they are agenda-driven. They're lazy. They're biased. They have an ideological agenda. They seem incapable now of telling the truth. Anyway, joining us 